everybody. Welcome to Wellness Wednesday. So it is January, so everybody is thinking about what they want to create for the next year. And I wanted to share with you guys how easy it is to create a vision board or a vision, in my case, a vision book, and how that can actually help create the life that you want. So what I do if you're watching this live, say hello. If you're watching the replay, say hello. And also share your vision for the year because sometimes when you say it out loud or write it somewhere, it has a lot of power to it. Um, in my case, I start by having a vision book for the year. And the way I do it, so before we go into that, I wanted to, so the mind is a very powerful machine. <laughs> Hi, Barb. Um, it's a very, very powerful machine. And just like any kind of machine, you need to give it, you need to keep upgrading it as time goes on. And that's the same thing with the, with the brain. So what that means is if you, I have seen time and time again that everything comes down to what you believe in and how your mindset works or the paradigms that your mind kind of hangs onto. So this is why having an intention or writing things down physically with a pen on a paper actually really helps because it signals the brain to do that thing. Your brain is, okay, I'm gonna use this word, it's like a dog. You, you Whatever you tell it to do, a good trained dog, it'll do it. And so you can use it to your advantage, but it also means that if your thoughts are all over the place or like they're not very clear or you have like different conflicting and things happening, it can really mess with your brain where, where in which case it's gonna be harder for you to make things happen in your life. So all this to say, I wanna empower you to feel more in control of your life by setting intentions and then working towards it. Actions also follow that, but when, when your intentions are very aligned with you, then it's much easier to, fall, to, to make that happen. So what I do is write things down. That's really one of the biggest things I do, but I don't have a vision board. I have a vision book because I want to carry this everywhere with me. I want to like study it. I want to do it. And tomorrow I'm having a vision board event for my oily group, my Harmony and Vitality oily group members, um, because we want to create a vision for our, for our life. And then we can also figure out how to use oils, essential oils and other tools, other products to support that intention. And that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow. But I thought, you know, this is a great time to kind of talk about this. Um, it's so useful for many, for, for most people. And if you find this helpful, please share. Please share with people. Please sh use the share button and share um, how to, to set a vision, how to use, how to make a vision book to have things happen in your life. So what I do, I basically take a notebook that I dedicate to that year. And then I divide it up into different sections. It's actually blank. I'm gonna do it tomorrow with my people. So I divide it up into different sections based on different categories in my life. And the thing to remember about your brain is you can only, it can only handle one or two items at one go. So don't try to like put a lot of things in your vision book. You can always change it. Say you set the intention for something and it happens within a week you can go ahead and rechange it like you can you can keep doing it but don't give your brain too much to do because your brain can only focus on one or two things at a time so i'm actually setting the intention for just one or two big goals in my life and that's it and in that underneath that comes the other small little goals but it's good to also write down these things and then, but focus on one or two things. So you've divided up into different categories in your life. For example, it could be health. It could be uh, spiritual, spirituality. It could be family, it can be career, it can be uh, finances. So you divide it up into different sections and you write down one or two main things that you want to see happen. So for me, like my health goal is I want to feel strong. I want to feel really good in my body and get my diastasis under control. Diastasis is like a, I have split belly muscles from two pregnancies. So I want to get that under control. 
And so I, want, I just want to write, I am strong. Uh, for me, like people, there's no right or wrong way to do it. For me, if I write down, I am going to go to the gym three times a week, it doesn't really happen for me. And then if I don't go, then I'm like, oh my God, I didn't go to the gym, I didn't do this, I didn't do that. Then I'm much more harder on myself. So I don't want to go down that path. Instead, I wrote, I am strong. I My diastasis is, is closed or I'm like a two finger deep or whatever. Like I have, I set goals like that. And then in my weekly calendar, then I put down gym, I'll put down eating right, I'll do those kinds of things. But in my weekly calendar, this is like my vision for the year, okay? And then for uh, family, I've written down, I will write down something like travel with my family. So have two big vacations with my family. So I'll write that down. Um, so for example, next month we're going to India. So I'm gonna tick mark that travel thing already. So it's already happened. So then I can decide what else I wanna do. Um, so so you, you, you get the point, right? So once you do that, so here is where the tools come so, so handy. And I'll tell you why. I talked about the brain, right? The brain responds to what you set ask it to do. So if that's the case, using the power of intention through meditation, this is where my meditation practices come very handy. I meditate every single day, every single day without fail. Even if it is a two minute meditation, I will sit down in meditation for two minutes. If it is a 20 minute, 20 minute, whatever, like at whatever time, but it, it is a set thing in my day. And the reason I do it is because it calms my mind down. And also uh, in my meditation, I'm very focused. I don't just sit and meditate to feel calm. I am focused in envisioning my future and my life, what I want to see happen. And this is where I pick one category at a time. Your brain cannot handle more than that. Um, unless yours, unless you, your brain works differently. Mine, I can only focus on one thing at a time. So I will pick that one category, put my full attention to it in my meditation. I will envision that thing having already happened and I bring in gratitude. I bring in um, uh, blessing. I bring in that for that one particular thing. And that's how I do it. And, and I also use the power of essential oils. You hear me talk about frequency. You hear me talk about, um, um, about um, uh, energy, right? So everything has a frequency to it. And emotions have a frequency. The more I can keep my emotions at a different frequency of vibrating at a different frequency of positiveness and love and joy and expansiveness, the more I am going to align myself and work towards the things that I want to create. Thank you so much, Barb. Um, so what I do is use essential oils. I always have essential oils with me at all times. Like I carry it in my bag at all times. It's there with me. My jam is emotions. Being a therapist, that's the reason I was attracted to being a therapist, right? So my, I, I, I focus a lot on emotions. I focus a lot on how to transform emotions. And so I use essential oils to transform my emotions. So once I finish my vision board, so even before I sit down to do that tomorrow, um, we're gonna do a short meditation. We'll en envision what the what end of 2019 looks like and then write all of those things down. And then we'll be using essential oils to enhance the process. So even so, as we sit down to meditate, we'll use essential oils to, tra to, to enhance the process. I have essential oils here like believe, transformation, release, inspiration, abundance. So I use essential oils like these to work with transforming the emotions. And the reason I bring in the frequencies because every emotion has a frequency and as does every, everything around us has a frequency to it. And um, certain, obviously plants have a frequency to them too. So certain oil blends that uh, are, so for example, let's take believe, right? So this has plants in it that basically have the frequency that allows the emotions of belief to come in. For anything to happen, when you believe that it can happen, it will happen, right? So there's more chances of something happening when you believe it than not. So when you use an essential oil blend like believe, it basically allows that vision to come to life. And it's like a, 
shortcut. Let me, let, let me, this is how I look at essential oils. You can get there. You can get there without the essential oils, but you, when you use essential oils to support your body, your mind, and your spirit, it's like a shotgun, right? Like get you there fast, um, much more faster than you would if you were on the on the normal on the on the regular trajectory. This is why I I'm like I keep talking about this all the time. Use your oils every single day, whatever you have in hand. Like sometimes you'll see me use Digize. Digize is basically for digestive support, but I will use it for emotions. You know why? Gut brain connection. When your gut is not in a good place, your brain is not going to function well. This is why if you eat fast food, for example, you will see like you're starting to feel depressed. You're starting to feel low energy and moods and like you're, you're starting to feel upset. Like the, the, there's a gut brain connection. So when you use an essential oil like Digize, which is meant for digestive support, it's going to support your brain health. So this is why I'm like, please use your oils every day. Please use your oils every day. Please use your oils every day. Okay, so coming back to this. So when you set your intention and you use essential oils to support that intention, I literally will like sprinkle essential oils like abundance in my notebook. I will sprinkle it and I will put it on myself. And once my notebook, once I finish writing whatever I want to write for the year, this is how I do it. I sit in meditation every morning and then I will study this book. I will literally study this book like I'm studying a textbook. So I will read through it and like literally take in, I'll take in the images. I'll take in how I want my life to look like and just saying thank you for that experience. Um, of having had it last year, I, I did I did this. I, I forgot to bring that notebook here, um, and most of what I wrote in that came to fruition. Um, like I wanted to declutter the house. I wanted to have a clean and, and really nice space. It happened. Most of it happened, but some of it is happening tomorrow. So a year later, it's happening, but it is happening tomorrow. I hired an organizer who's going to come and do some 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 work in my space. It happened. I wanted to get to my pre-pregnancy weight last year. Um, and I was a year old and this, now she's two years old. I am back to my pre-pregnancy weight. I just had the diastasis now to take care of. So whatever I wrote in my book came to life. Um, so that's why I'm like, please set the intentions. Please write things down. Keep it somewhere handy. And when things happen, just say, have gratitude for it. Even before it happens, the, the key to having things happen is to have gratitude for it. So that's all I wanted to leave you guys with. If you have any specific questions, please ask me. Um, I'll be more than happy to answer. Some of my favorite ones, if you want to know what they are, release is a number one. I use release pretty much all the time and then I use abundance. So I use release first and then I use abundance because it's good to release whatever is not serving you anymore before you put on abundance. Otherwise you're going to attract abundance of whatever you didn't want in your life first. <laughs> so you're like irritable and angry and then you're like putting on abundance. You don't want that, right? Like it's setting that you're, you're setting the intention for what you want versus what you don't want. Um, so that's how I use it. Okay. Transformation is another one. Believe is one of my favorite, favorite ones. I love believe. Um, it, it has, um, uh, balsam for, it has coriander. Coriander is amazing for brain health. It's one of the best oils you can use to detox the brain. Bergamot and frankincense, um, Ylang Ylang, it's geranium, fantastic oil blend. As is inspiration is another good one. Um, this, this, I've had this for probably three years. <laughs> that's why it looks like this. I use a drop here and there. I might just smell it. So that's it, guys. Um, take care. If you have any questions, ask me. And please share with me what your vision is for the year. Bye. Yeah.